Hi, my name's Taylor Eason. I'm here at Fopiano Vineyards, and I'm here with Natalie West, our beautiful winemaker. We're here to talk about our 2010 Chardonnay and let you know what to have it with. So, tell us a little bit about the 2010 vintage and how it differed from the 09. 2010 vintage was a much cooler vintage. Mm -hmm. um, you saw a lot of foggy days, a lot of foggy afternoons, and since we're in Russian River, we had extended hang time, so you did get some really nice, ripe fruit flavors, but you'll notice in the wines that they're a little more aesthetic. So, um, tell me a little bit about the vineyards uh, that we have here at Fopiano. What differs our vineyards from, say, other ones? So at Fopiano Vineyards, we're located directly on the Russian River. Okay. The, all the Pinot and Chardonnay is planted right near the river, so that's where the coolest part of the ranch is. So the, the vines love it down there. They get nice, slow ripening and mm. beautiful fruit. So um, it does still have a little bit of that creaminess. How do you, what, do you use oak barrels, uh, malolactic fermentation, all that stuff? How do you do that? So our 2010 Chardonnay, like the 09, is all 100% barrel fermented. That's only fermented in about 30% new French oak. So you're getting the oak barrel fermentation, but you're not getting overpowering oak. You still maintain a lot of that Russian River fruit. Wonderful. Well, let's uh, give it a try. Okay. Mm. Wow. So a lot of a lot of citrus in here. A lot of citrus. I also get. A little pear, apple, mm -hmm. very typical Russian river. Apricot? Do, apricot. I, do I smell apricot? I okay. do get a little stone fruit, peaches, apricot. Mm. Very aromatic. Mm. Mm. And on the palate, a lot more of that citrus, green apple, mm -hmm. pear. And you still get a little creaminess though. Mm -hmm. And the creaminess comes from the barrel fermentation and also our malic fermentation. So we do 100% barrel fermented, but to really maintain that fruit profile, I only ferment in about 30% new oak. So you get a little bit of caramel, a little butterscotch, but it doesn't overpower the fruit. So it's not the oaky buttery type of Chardonnay. Exactly. Wow. This is delicious. Thank you. So what would you pair this with in terms of food? It would go great with a grilled herb shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, roasted chicken would be amazing with it. Uh, crab cakes. Oh yeah. I would also, for a cheese pairing, uh, triple cream, any kind of triple cream brie or mm -hmm. Mount Tam would be a great example of that. Cow, cow creamery? Exactly. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.